coming back with a video that I haven't done in a while. I did it probably, gosh, I don't even know, maybe a year ago or more than that. I remember someone asking me somewhere to do one recently, and I don't know, I just looked at my purse earlier and I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll do a what's in my purse video. So, yeah, um, this is my purse. It's really big. It's kind of hard to all fit in the frame here. Um, it's a Rebecca Minkoff. I'm not sure of the exact name of it. I will have to find it and post it below, but I'm obsessed with this purse. This color in particular is called Latte, and I looked for it and looked for it and looked for it, and it was so hard to find. I don't know if it like was like a seasonal color and it got discontinued because, you know, the bags that look like this are like, you know, around all the time, but they're always in different colors. But one day I was looking at Rebecca Minkoff, just hoping that it'd be on there. Because I had looked several times and it hadn't been on there. Um, and I'd been on Nordstrom, tried to order it, and it was, you know, it was gone. <laughs> so it was disappointing. But I looked on Rebecca Minkoff one day, and there it was. It was just, it was on there. And I was like, <gasps> and it was on sale. And I was like, oh, I was just the happiest girl in the world. So, of course, I ordered that baby. I've had it for months and months now, and I've really, really loved it. So I highly recommend Rebecca Minkoff purses. They're good quality. Um, you know, they're not too expensive. They're... You know, I wouldn't say they're cheap, but, you know, they're not, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? They're, like, I don't know. They're no more expensive than, like, a Michael Kors bag or a coach or anything like that, in my opinion. Um, and then this is the back of it. And the reason I love this one, well, I love the latte, the tan color, um, of course, but it's got, like, the black hardware, which I thought was kind of uh, different and just nifty. And besides getting like, you know, a black purse, which, you know, everybody gets, black goes with everything, I thought, you know, this is a nice neutral color, but yet it still goes with everything. And it's kind of transitional. It can go from, you know, a spring purse to a winter purse or fall or whatever. It just kind of goes with everything. So I just really love this purse. And again, I will link it down below if I can find it. So the first thing that's in my purse, which isn't really in my purse, but if I'm ever out anywhere, it's in my purse. And that's my phone. Um, I recently got this case, which I wanted to show because I thought it was really cute. Um, it's a Kate Spade iPhone 6 case, and I love like the multicolored hearts. Um, and then it's got like the black, uh, I don't know, whatever you call that. <laughs> um, it's two-piece, you know, the black and then the hard part back here. Love Kate Spade cases. I really don't think... Uh, for the money, um, you can really get a cuter, more girly, you know, case. I just think Kate Spade makes some of the most cutest cases, and a lot of times I will buy them on eBay because you can get them much cheaper, obviously. Um, they're usually around 40 bucks or so for, like, the hard case, and then, like, the soft shell is usually uh, 35 I think. Uh, but I always check eBay or Amazon because I found a lot better deals um, when I do that. But I did get this one, and... <sighs> I love it and I haven't had it that long and I had like my phone in my lap the other day went to get out of my car, it was between my legs went to get out of the car, dropped it on concrete, scratched the back of it up um, which is kind of hard to see which is good but yeah I guess that's what the case is there for though right? Okay so the first thing I'm just going to kind of show you it's not really that organized or anything I've got like a bunch of just stuff laying in there and um, this front zipper pocket I never use um, not that I know of, I don't think there's anything in there, there's not, I just never, I've just never used that pocket. So the first thing in here is my wallet, and I cannot believe how many compliments I've got on this wallet. Like, it's just a simple, you know, nothing too fancy at all, you know, the design I don't even think is like, I mean, it's pretty, but it's not like, oh, that's like so gorgeous, you know what I mean? And I've got so many compliments on this, and every time I'm like, I got it from Target, and everybody's like, oh, that's awesome, you know, because, you know, Target's, it's cheap, it's affordable. It's like $14.99, I think. And anyway, it is a wristlet. So usually, if I'm going in somewhere and I just need to run in really quickly, um, I just grab this because it's got all of my cards, my cash, and all of that in there. Um, and it easily holds my phone, too. So if I want to run, you know, run in somewhere really easy, really quickly, just grab this. It's got everything you need, and I highly recommend doing this. And Target has some of the cutest wallets that you can find. On the inside here, it's got like, it's got like a little zipper pocket here for change. And then if you like close that, you've got like a, a side pocket and then uh, this middle pocket which can hold stuff. And then you've also got right here, which I've got my keys in here. 
because my keys, like, you know, if, you just, if I just have my keys on me, my car will unlock or lock or whatever. Um, so I just stuff them in here too and then put the phone on the other side <laughs> and I'm good to go. Um, and then you've got several uh, card slots and you've got more over here, which is nice. It's very roomy. You've got plenty, like I said, plenty of room. And yeah, it's just easy to grab it and go. So I highly recommend having one of these in your purse. Um, the next thing in here is this little keep on like organizer I got from Etsy and the neat thing about this is kind of it, lock, it locks right here around just like a little button little button closure if I can undo it here like that and like the lid is or the lid yeah the top I guess is meant to like be able to go around like a cart handle so you can like take this wrap it around and then uh you know, hook it back around the thing so it's easy to get into. And then, yeah, I have it like all organized, different sections, yeah, just full of coupons. I um, always carry this with me, obviously, and I'm a little bit of a coupon junkie. I really like uh, to coupon and get the best deal, you know, on, you know, household essentials and stuff like that. So, love coupons. So, got that again from Etsy. If I can find it, I will link it below. And um, they even had larger ones, and I don't know, just a really you know, fun way to organize, keep it organized. So if you're a coupon person, I highly recommend something like that. Smaller than one of those like coupon binders and you can carry it in your purse and it's just simple. And um, the next thing in here is this Kate Spade little makeup purse. I actually filmed this at TJ Maxx like recently. So if you're at TJ Maxx, I would definitely look for Kate Spade. This was originally, I think, 60 or 70 something dollars and they had it for $29.99 so I could not pass it up. And it's got like little, uh, like tips on it. It says bare face, red lips, smile, um, just dash of perfume behind the ears, pat concealer, don't rub. It's just cute. It's got like little makeup tips. Um, inside here I've got a just a Sephora mirror that I got for free. Um, I have some e.l.f. little blotting wipes there. I have a touch up powder from Bare Minerals. It's just the regular translucent but it's like the mini size. I have the Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm in Honey. I think it's in Honey. Is it in Honey? No, it's in Demure. Sorry. Love, love, love this one, but Honey was on my mind. I love, love Honey. Honey is a very good one, so if you like these Revlon balms, get Honey. That one's really good. Um, and then I have a lipstick by Milani in Matte Naked. Oh, you guys, I love this shade. I just had it on the other day. I have to swatch it because it's gorgeous. Again, this is in Matte Naked. How pretty is that? Oh, so, so pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch this too because I haven't worn this in a while. You can tell I've like wore a lot of it. I've worn it down. I love this. Again, it's in 105 Demure. And this is the Revlon like bomb, with lacquer bomb. There is the Revlon lacquer bomb and they smell good. They're minty. I love those. A lot like the Tarte uh, minty like bombs that they make but the Revlon of course are cheaper. And then I have the Chanel lipstick in Boy. Love this. I have to swatch this too. This is one of my favorites, favorites, favorites. Just on the go. It's just a very goes with everything. It's more sheer. It's not like super, super, you know what I mean? Just gives you a nice color. It's shiny. It's moisturizing. It's just a good everyday shade to have in your purse for touch-ups. And you can see it right there. So love that color too. And then the last thing that I have in here is this really awesome brush. It's the Sonia Cashed brush from Target. And you open it up, and it's got a mirror, but you can fold it all the way back. And, you know, I just use it for, you know, the powder or, like, some blush or whatever. And it's just a really good touch-up brush with the mirror. And then you close it, and it closes the brush in. And it's just a great way to, like, not lose those bristles, like, everywhere or get makeup on stuff. So, love that brush. Again, Sonia Cashed from Target. It's awesome. The next thing in here is another change purse, which I don't have any change in it right now, but <laughs> um, also from Target, I thought that was really, really cute with just the multicolored polka dots. The next thing in here is a Target receipt. Gotta love Target. Target gets all of my money. They just have the cutest, most affordable things. I bought so much home decor stuff lately that they've come out with. I um, actually got a new little lamp that I have sitting right here that's just adorable. Um, just so many new, like, there's so many cute shoes. They just have such great stuff. I love Target. Okay, moving on. Okay, I need to put this up. I have my Barnes & Noble, uh, membership card. 
I have a pair of gloves, which don't think I will be needing those for too much longer. I have a lipstick in here. I just bought this from Walgreens and I like opened it to see what it was like because it's a new brand and it was a new display and it's called Circa. I don't know if it's a new brand, but it's called Circa. And I looked it up and like Eva Mendez, which you know, she's an actress. She's like the creative director or something behind this collection that came out of Walmart. And it's like a big old display. They got foundation, lip products, concealer, uh, eyeshadow, just everything that you could think of. And so I grabbed a lipstick. Um, kind of expensive for a drugstore brand. This was a $10 lipstick, um, but the color was so pretty. I mean, look at that. That's so gorgeous. Just a pretty everyday pink. Kind of like, kind of got like a little bit of like a purple tint to it. Kind of like a lilac going on. Um, and this is in the shade Sophia, and it's just gorgeous. Let me see if I can swatch it here. It's so pretty for spring. I'm just obsessed. I might have to go back and check some more, but for $10, it's just kind of expensive for a drugstore lipstick. Um, so hopefully they rent some good sales on those because there was no sale going on, but yeah, you can see. That is so, so pretty. Let's see. I've got this Bath & Body Works Twisted Peppermint Antibacterial Foaming Hand Sanitizer. Always, always, always gonna have hand sanitizer with you. I've got my little hairbrush here, which is called the Big Mini. And always, always good to have a care brush or a care brush, a hair brush because my hair tangles easily. It's very fine, um, so I always like to have one of these. And also, if you go somewhere and you forget to pack, like you know, your hair brush, you've got an extra one in your purse. So better than nothing. Um, and then I've got a pair of sunglasses, which these are so old. They're Oakley, but oh my goodness, they are so old. They are scratched up. They are just, woo, they are just nuts. Um, I got another pair of sunglasses that I just got from Target. Seriously, they have the cutest stuff. Love these. They're kind of retro, I think. Oh, I love these. They are so cute. Um, love, love, love. I will link to these below, too, if I can find them. They're just so cute. Highly recommend checking uh, sunglasses out at Target. I actually got another pair, too, that I just thought were adorable. Um, I got some lip balms in here that I bought from CVS. <laughs> And they're just still in there. Um, I got this new Beauty 360 uh, Revo lip balm and in the peppermint scent. And it's so good. I mean, it's so pepperminty, obviously. It just smells good. So I got that. And then they also have these like little lip glosses, which I've never seen from Revo. Um, and that's the Beauty 360 lip gloss in Tangerine. And it looks orange, but it says it goes on clear. And then I also got the watermelon version, and it looks hot pink, but it goes on clear as well. So definitely check those out at CVS. There's also more of like the balms that look like this. They had like a blueberry, a pomegranate, a strawberry, just different ones. And then I have a couple of pins. Always need a pin. And then I have my Walgreens March coupon book. You can get these every month um, at Walgreens. They put them out for or put out a new one every month. So I always grab one because you can combine those with your manufacturer coupons and you can get a better deal. Um, the next thing in here is this thing I got sent in the mail, <laughs> and I threw it in my purse when I checked them out, and that's this Birchbox keychain. I got it for like being subscribed for a year or something like that, and yeah, it's actually a pretty decent keychain. It's pretty cute, so I could probably put that on my keys, and let's see. I got a list in here. Oh, there's a random paper clip. Um, I've got a list in here. <laughs> Um, it's all the places I wanted to go in Atlanta for the Vampire Diaries and all of that. And on the back I've got like a list of like a ton of Bath and Body Works in Atlanta. So I, yeah. I keep this because if we go back to Atlanta, I'll have it ready and I don't have to write them out again. So it's always a good thing. And let's see, I got some change down here. I got 25, 35, 40, 41 cents. And I got some straw wrappers from Starbucks. <laughs> I've been obsessed with the Passion Tea Lim or not not the Passion Tea Lemonade, but just the Passion Tea by itself. Been obsessed with that. I used to be totally over the moon about the Passion Tea Lemonade, but I don't know. I've just been enjoying the Passion Tea by itself. Give me some Starbucks recommendations. I seem to go a lot, and I'm curious about the teas. Um, is there another tea that's like really good? I don't know. The only one I've ever tried is the Passion Tea, so let me know. And then I've got this thing. It's hooked to my purse. Um, you can see. It's like this little Bath and Body Works little, uh, what is that? It's a bumblebee, you know, on a flower. And then it like stretches so you can easily just grab it and hand sanitize your hands. And I got the little, little cutie pie, cherry scented pocket back. And then in these little side pockets, I have, let's see, the Bobbi Brown 
Art Stick in the shade Dusty Pink. I actually wore this the other day, so I threw it in my purse to take it with me for tub set, for tub, for tub, blah, blah, <laughs> for touch ups. Um, you can tell I've used it quite a bit too. Um, I love these because they're kind of like a, a lip liner and then a lipstick in one, so I love the fact that, you know, it does both. Um, such a pretty everyday pink. Let me swatch it here for my Nana. It's an ugly swatch because it's over my knuckles, but it'll work. There's a swatch of it. It's just so pretty. Absolutely love those, and they stay on forever and ever and ever. Um, I actually just bought a different shade that I'm trying out, and I highly recommend those. And then also in that pocket, this pocket I usually keep my cell phone in too, but I keep bunches of other stuff. Um, I've got some Sony headphones. Are y'all, like, am I the only one that doesn't like to use my Apple headphones? Like, when you get a new phone or something, or, you know, an iPod even, and the headphones are brand new. I like just do not want to open them. So I go buy like some cheap like $10 um, headphones to use instead. I don't know. I'm weird about that. Like I hate opening the Apple ones. And then in this other pocket here, I have two little travel perfumes or, you know, little the... <laughs> I can like not spit anything out today. Um, this little spray vials. Um, I like these for traveling. Um, they're both Escada. This one's Escada Turquoise Summer, which is uh, a newer fragrance. It smells so, so good, you guys. I recommend anything Escada if you're like a tropical, fruity person, type of perfume person, because they're all just so good. And then this one is the Escada Joyful, and it's good as well. I love both of these. I also have the Escada like, Cherries in the air that I have over there. Escada is just... Good, good stuff. I wish they lasted a little longer, like on you, but for the price, I mean, 20 bucks, it's good. It's good stuff. Um, another thing in that pocket is oh, I got a doctor's appointment. I went to the doctor the other day, and it's my appointment card for next year. Women's health. Fun, fun, fun stuff. Um, and then in this little, this went through these little pockets over here, and then I have like this zipper pocket over here. Um, and here is, let's see, the Rebecca Minkoff, like, care instructions. Um, there's, like, some extra tassels that you can, I guess, like, because the purse has, like, tassels, like, on the zippers. Like, here's one and then on the front. So, they got replacement tassels, which is nice. And then some Kleenexes. Um, I've got an extra set of keys to my husband's car. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> my first. Oh, and then here's another random paper clip. Then I got some feminine stuff. You never, you never know where you might be, and you might need one of those. And then the last thing in that pocket is a new lipstick, which is nice. It's not even been opened. I didn't know I had it in there. Uh, it's the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Will You Be With Me. Of course, just an everyday pink. I tend to uh, like gravitate towards pinks. I have a lot of pinks <laughs> that, I don't know, I just think pinks is one thing that you can always wear. Let's go with everything. It's not too crazy of a lip color, but yet it's not too, uh, like, you know, it ain't just like a chapstick, you know, with no color. So I just love my pinks. So there's that. Happy I found that because it looks really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's kind of fun to go through your purse and see what kind of junk you got at the bottom that you didn't know and you might even find lipsticks that you bought that you forgot about <laughs> and you never know what you'll find. Um, so I like watching these kinds of videos and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and down below let me know what kind of videos you would like to see me do. Um, I know a lot of people have requested uh, Bath and Body Works collection video. I don't know that I would go through like a whole collection. I might show you how I store it, um, but going through it all just takes too much time. I've had people request to do like uh, a makeup collection. Again, it would take a while, so I probably would just kind of go around and show you how I store everything. Maybe like a room tour of in here. Um, I don't know. Just let me know what you guys want to see. I would really appreciate your recommendations. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.